All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Flotsam, The Rise of Garbage Cove. So when we last left off, we were kind of fleshing out some uh, some additional areas of our of our uh, city here, or our floating island, whatever you want to call it. We uh, got that scrapsmith in, and we were looking at trying to get the research points to get to... No, we were looking at making the stuff to get to a desalinator, right? So, let's see. We'll go ahead and unpause so they can collect resources while they're going. So, uh, if you want the game for yourself, link in the description. Uh, you can get it on Steam. Uh, link in the description for my Discord as well. Um, most active over there as well as on Twitter. The uh, Gaming Discord is a community of gamers. Uh, built by gamers for gamers. Uh, come check us out, hang out. Uh, maybe we can play some games together. Also, um, something new. We are part of the affiliate program with Nerd or Die, right? So Nerd or Die has overlays, um, alerts, widgets, all the all your streaming needs. Whether you're a experienced streamer or new to the entire thing, and you're just getting started. So I'm gonna roll a little advert real quick. You guys will see it up there in the top of the screen somewhere. So, link in the description as well for my affiliate link uh, helps helps me out, helps support the channel so that I can continue to make additional content for you guys. Uh, eventually, at some point, I will get back into streaming. It's just my daily life right now. My other job is just taking up a lot of my time. Um, so, come November, though, things will shift and be a little different, so I'll be able to dedicate more time to streaming, which is... Pretty exciting, but also pretty scary at the same time. So, um, hopefully, you guys will tune in for that. Uh, but let us see. We should have all the parts now for desalinator. So, Stevie's still doing his little thing. That was last episode. We got the little uh, seagull. So, we're still collecting plastics over here, which is what we needed. We'll probably throw down uh, another buoy right there just to get some wood for the time being. Uh, I think we're okay on wood, actually. Let's see what this desalinator is going to take for us to build. Oh, water. We are still short screws. Can we build screws? Let's build a whole queue of screws, because I don't know how many exactly we're going to need, and then we'll go ahead and queue up a whole bunch of firewood as well. Right. Pretty sure that all of our fishing spots have been plundered out. I know. Okay, we're still collecting fish over here. So it looks like we're just starting that fishing spot. So oh, we've got one over there too. Alright. We'll probably collect up these resources uh, real quick and then we'll get on to doing what we've got to do, right? So once we get enough for this desalinator, we're definitely going to get that rolling and we'll probably dedicate somebody directly to full-time firewood production um, so that we can well we might not maybe not dedicate somebody quite yet to full-time uh, water production but we may definitely or we're definitely going to take a look at the desalinator today and see what's up um, we are almost out of space so did we we did not get the larger storage yet so um, let's throw that one right there. Somebody will get to building that, right? Take a look. Oh, we're out of firewood, that's why. So we're making firewood, we're building up our... Oh, we've got firewood. Uh, maybe we're working on other things right now, so... Okay, not a big issue. Still got a little bit of canned food from our previous expeditions. Right. So once they finish building that, preferably before we fill up the stockpiles, guys, come on. I really would like to see a priorities of work implemented in the game. Um, 
just just to alleviate some pressures and different things, so let's take this off auto queue. We're okay on water right now, so I think we can live without that one. Okay on water. We're still slowly collecting water from our solar stills, which is passive, which is nice. Um, yeah. Still a little high. Alright. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of wet wood. We don't have any wet wood, honestly, so working that out. There we go. Why are you taking just one? Take just one wood at a time. Why would you not stop that thing with wood? Is that what you're doing? Okay, that's what you're doing. Alright, cool. So I don't know where we're gonna put the desalinator in just yet. I don't know how big it is. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't even see how big it is until we're able to make it. So. I was thinking maybe if it's the same size as the distiller, we may put it right in here. If not, we may put it over here somewhere. Um, don't know. I'm not going to build a second fishing boat now because our food is doing okay. Alright, All right, so we are able to build the desalinator. And it might be the same size. Why you know what they build there? But over here, can I build over here? No. So we're gonna do something risky here. We're gonna deconstruct this. And then we'll see. Hopefully, we have enough space to put it in there. Um, if we don't, then we'll put it somewhere over here on this end. Um, and then we'll put in an extra storage thing right here, which we definitely will have space for. So, all right, so they got to bring down the durability on that. Water's okay. We might get into a little bit of a dicey spot where we're getting lower than I would like to be, which currently, right now, is lower than. 25 at this point, so I think we're doing fairly well. So, but we're almost done, not that big of an issue. We have enough pipes, enough screws. We actually have a little overage of screws right now, so we'll be okay on that. going to finish pulling the resources out of there. Somebody's going to sleep. Um, come on, we're almost there, guys. Come on. Alright. There's resources left on this thing. Where's everybody else at? Two boats back, two salvage boats back, so that means we've got three other people running around here doing whatever. Just take a long way around, man. I'm getting water. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess we'll build another storage unit for right now. Uh, no. Put it in there. Put it in there. So we're we'll gonna put it in there. All right, that'll alleviate some of that. So apparently now, so before, if you if you went up to your storage limit, you just threw out resources. You didn't do anything. They didn't get carried over. They didn't get held or anything. So now apparently they get held. 
uh, your resources get held, or maybe it's just the deconstruction that gets held. I don't know. All right. Oh. Stevie, looking for some food. Stevie's eating now, good to go. Stevie will eat anything as is typical with most seagulls. So water still looks okay, food's okay for right now. Um got a storage units built. We're almost maxing it out as well, which is fortunate. Alright, so desalinator. Can we fit it in there? Uh, no, of course not. We can't move any of this stuff, can we? Move you. Okay, not a big deal, guys. We'll put in the desalinator right there. And, like I said, we'll put in another storage. Actually, maybe we won't put it in the storage bin. We'll wait and we'll see if we can fit a uh, larger storage thing in there. So, Alright. Pretty excited. Uh, we don't got no firewood, so we are going to do a full stack of firewood right now. I don't want to burn down our, our wood supply just yet when we're not bringing in excess wood. Although, I guess we could bring in excess wood while we're waiting for our guy to finish... to get this fish ball. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's mine up this. We'll put two workers on it so that'll make it go a little more, a little quicker. And then, while they're doing all that, we're going to look at the map real quick and figure out where we're going. Alright, so... I don't know if we're a hundred percent yet on where we can sustain food and whatnot so we may wait on these guys we'll probably go here and here and then here just for the research points so yeah so that's what we'll do so we'll collect a little more resources we'll wait to move until we get our desalinator built um, and get our first run production on that and then we will move out for sure uh, and do that but Things are going along good. They put it under a patch uh, yesterday or today. Uh, a lot of little minor UI fixes and some performance uh, tweaks. So, and then they made it to where the music loops in the, uh, in the menu now when you're looking at the menu. So, uh, good music though. It's not, I mean, I wouldn't go blurring it around my car all day long, but it's definitely adds to the ambiance of the game. So, Desalinator is almost done being built. Uh, Water is going to dip right down to that 25 mark, I would say. Which is okay, as long as we get the desalinator up and running quickly uh, without any issues. So we'll be done here in a second. So. Alright. Now we're going to set this to constantly make water. It's always going to be making water. And it gives us four. So I wonder if it's four for one wood, or if it's just... I don't know, I guess we'll see. Alright. And... We have a whole other stack of firewood. I don't know how much, know how much resources we got. Let's look at our stock. So we got 12 wood right now. So if it's one to four, we theoretically have... 48 water, which is more than we can currently hold. So. Oh, God, it's 
doing this. So I got six. Now I'm assuming this requires an individual to work it. So let's go down let's get a good let's get a look at it real quick. Let's see what it looks like. No, so there's oh, okay. So he's pedaling on a bike. Probably pedaling a prop or a fan to cause the wood to burn hotter so that it burns off steam and everything more. Not a scientist on that, but that's how I would envision that it's working. Which is really cool. So, ah, uh, yes, so it is four for, no, it's, it's one for one, because he had six in there. All right, let's see. Let's do firewood only on this one right here. Let's do firewood only. All the rest of these we're going to turn off the firewood, right? We want our firewood as close to that location as possible. We still have yeah, sure. kelp, so food gotten over here. How many fish is left? Okay, let's let them get the last bit of that fish. We've already got all that wood, so we're processing the other wood. Um, we're sitting on the cusp of... Um, sitting on the cusp of getting ready to take off and go to the next island, so... Just go now and not worry about that and start over on hold. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and remove move this marker. We'll remove uh, these marker, and then we are going to take off. So we're already at our limit again with resources. So we definitely need to research them larger storage yards. So we'll push up here. Oh no, we can't push up there. Or we can, we just can't push down there. Alright, so we need to hope that there's research points here and research points here. So let's go. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pause it. We'll take a look around. So we've got a fish ball right there. Immediately start working on that. We'll send out... Uh, mistakes were made, maybe? 
Let's go there. We'll go there. Yep. And that is what we will do for the time being, guys. So we'll get everybody started on the things. Um, a little shorter than normal episode today. You guys at least got to see the desalinator working, so we do know for a fact that that's a viable thing now. Um, we're out of firewood again, so let's queue up stack firewood. All right. And then as they get firewood, they will do the desalination process. But anyway, guys, this has been Flotsam, the Rise of Garbage Cove. Uh, if you like the video, link in the description if you would like to get the game for yourself. Gaming Discord as well, as well as the Murder Guy affiliate uh, link. Um, thank you guys, and as always, have fun.